name's Wendy Olson. I'm running for Salford City Council this year and I wanted to give an introduction to Green Party policies as they relate to the Council. My manifesto is in three parts and this is the first part which gives a general introduction to the Greens. It's great fun being in the Greens but they do have some serious policies and I'm going through about eight of those in this short video. So the first one is we favour real democracy and that means democracy in schools, democracy in the health service, people having a voice. So in schools, for example, you can have student council or a mixed group representing the different stakeholders, parents and students and staff. And that's not really how it's happening at the moment. So we do favour democracy and you'll see that in the way we talk about the NHS and some of the other big uh, public sector services. We don't favour giving subsidies to big capitalists. Now small business can uh, be advantaged by our policies because at the moment Salford City Council have been giving big subsidies to some big companies and um, we've given some detail about that in my printed manifesto. Another policy is we favour nationalising the railways. We don't mean by that completely taking control but the major centralised services uh, need to be run by the country in the interest of everyone because it gives better, better planning and better prices. Another policy that we talked about at our recent national conference in Liverpool is to keep the power grid national. We had a discussion about whether you could nationalise any part of the power industry. It's a very diverse industry. So these, these discussions are, are happening at the national level in the Green Party for England and Wales. There's a separate Green Party for Scotland and Salford has its own Green Party which has grown massively. We favour ending the austerity cuts now. We're in the middle of a terrible recession. It's something unheard of for it to last for eight years. So it's not just a business cycle. And we favour investment and public sector spending. And that would end the depression that we're now in. Last of all, I have to mention that um, the Salford Greens favour equality and rights for all. We favour human rights for everyone. And the government is for everyone that sits in the space that's being governed. So there's no exclusion of people who are having mental health problems or immigration, Im immigrants or anyone at all. So that's why you hear us favouring staying in Europe, because Europe has a great human rights policy. Well that ends my first part and I'll be talking more in the other two parts about local policies and radical policies. Thanks.